After two years of road works, one of the most notorious stretches of road in the state has been transformed. The new section of the Pacific Highway runs from Nambucca Heads to Urunga on the mid-north coast. Once it's open to traffic, it's hoped it'll cut travel times and, more importantly, save lives. It's one of the deadliest stretches of road in the state. In the past decade, 17 people have been killed on the Pacific Highway between Nambucca and Urunga. Four years ago, a truck ploughed into this Yurunga home, killing an 11-year-old boy asleep inside. More recently, a teenage driver and her mother died in a head-on crash with an ambulance at the entrance to the coastal town of Vala. To consistently have to con attend and back up to these incidents on, on the frequency that they have been occurring over many, many years you know, is certainly confronting and, and, and certainly you know, it, it can wear you down. It's really, it's really tough to have that happen and it does make you question you know, the trips that you need to make and when you have the kids in the car, how, you know, is it necessary to go on that trip? Locals have begged the government for a bypass to stop the trucks and cars roaring past their homes. Today their wish was finally granted. It's just a beautiful day for this community that has fought so hard and for so long to get this road to a place where it needed to be. I'm standing between the old and new Pacific Highway sections and soon traffic will begin to flow along this road. This opening means the duplication of the Pacific Highway is now 70% complete and it's reduced travel time between Sydney and Brisbane by an hour and a half. But the focus was on putting an end to tragedy. The time saving is important, but the big saving is in lives. We've already halved the road toll uh, on this highway and it will continue to come down. While communities along a third of the highway are still waiting for the upgrades, the end of the road's now in sight. Ruby Cornish, ABC News, Urunga.